Welcome back to this little series of um, recordings on using BandLabs. Um, for this, in my last one, should I say, uh, we looked at creating um, a piano track and a drum track. Since then I've been doing a bit of a play, a bit of a workaround, so I've extended my drum track, fixed up a few things, and I've added a another track. Um, this one where I've put a bit of a melody in um, here, and I've picked the flute, so let's start by having a bit of a listen of what I've done so far. Okay, so you can see that I've got a little bit of an introduction. Um, I've got a little bit of musical development from this purple flute part. I've got the drum kit just helping to build a little bit. And then at the end, you can see I'm sort of resolving my melody with a bit of a climax and then finishing with a little bit of the same as what I had as the introduction. So this is very similar to a lot of songs that you might hear um, on the radio, whether it's a pop song or a classical song or whatever other genre. Um, so have a think about the techniques that you might use in composing your particular song. Um, now I want to take today and talk today about um, extending some more ideas on why um, using MIDI recording is really, really useful. So I've recorded a piano part, a drum kit and a flute part, but you might want to change things up. So the massive advantage of recording with MIDI is you can change and manipulate what you've been doing. So one of the ideas I want to do is being able to copy this flute part to another instrument. So what I'm going to be doing is adding another track, another MIDI instrument track, and then this time I'm going to select a, oh, what do we got here? I think it's a percussion instrument I was going to do. Or was it, no, it was a different piano instrument. I was going to do vibraphone. So here's what this one sounds like. Okay, so let's have a look at what I'm going to do here is select this flute part I created, copy, select the beginning of this new track and paste that in. Now over here there's a bit of a feature here. I'm going to solo this track. Let's have a little bit of a listen. Now you notice some notes aren't happening. Now let's go into the MIDI editor and you'll, there's something I want to bring to your attention here. You see how these piano keys are black and these are white. So what I'm going to do is shift the transposition of this instrument. So I've clicked into this space, Control A or Command A. So I've selected all of the notes for that part and I'm going to shift it down an octave or 12 notes. So now I've brought all of our notes within the range of that. So let's have a little bit of listen to that again. Okay, so without having to replay that whole part, I've been able to transpose that into another instrument just by clicking the mouse. So let's unsolo that and have a listen to everything again. Okay, now other things you could be doing with this, um, I'm going to hit the save button because I'm liking that so far, is you can edit things, you can change the lengths of different things. Um, 
you can copy and paste different sections so I could have the flute doing half of that solo and then the vibraphone taking over later on. Um, so that's pretty cool. Some other features I want to bring to your attention is these are the volumes for each of the tracks so you can adjust those. Um, over here this is the ornamentation. Um, no not the, how did I pronounce it? So you can ornamentation where automatation I'm pronouncing that wrong, where you can change the volume of those track or the panning. Panning is where it jumps between the left or the right speaker. So you can adjust that by adjusting this line and clicking on that one. Okay. Um, the last little bit I want to talk about, so we can play around with MIDI, you can change the volumes, you can pan things, you can add effects onto those instruments as well. Um, the last thing is just recording with real instruments. So all of these three are the same. So just wanted to touch base on that for a moment. So here's where we're selecting source. And for a lot of you, it might be your um, computer. So I might have my Mac's built-in microphone. Okay, I'm using an interface. Um, and for any interfaces, um, this interface happens to have four channels going into it, but only two of them will be visible. Okay, so channel one and two, doesn't matter how many you've got, will only be visible. You've got a stereo pair of those. So I've got my microphone, you can see monitoring there. Okay, and if I change that to channel two, you'll find that my microphone's not being picked up on that meter anymore. Okay, if I go back to channel one and two, it will pick up. So if you've got a guitar or a bass guitar or other instruments plugged in, you can be recording those things um, a long time you're recording. Okay. Um, and the same things applies with trick, click tracks and practicing it and those things. Cool. Thank you for your time.